So I had a three day weekend this weekend, so I got a fair amount of work done on the van, still a lot to do. But I thought I'd give a little bit of an update. So I'm still at my girlfriend's parents' house. They've been really kind and letting me work here. Hit my main workstation, tucked behind the back of their house. I got to borrow some of their saws too. Their air compressor, I've been using a bunch through nail in nails. It's really, really helpful, makes it fast. But here's the good old van. Uh, I've, so I'm still living in it full time. So every single time I got to work on it, I pull out all my work gear, all my living gear. It's kind of a pain in the butt, and I got to load it all back up every night. But, so I finished up more or less on the sofa bed, and I'll put in a little video of showing how that works. And then, so back here is going to be the propane tank. And I'll talk more about that later, but it's going to be safe, don't worry. <laughs> and over here is the drawers. So there's four drawers, one, two, three, four. But I've only been able to cut two out so far. I'm trying to make them kind of seamless. I got the handles, but I haven't put them on yet. So drawer, drawer, and two small ones because of the wheel well on the other side. And then we come around on this side, and I'll talk about the countertop in a second, but over here is going to be, so this is how I access the gray water from my sink, and I just pull that out and empty that wherever, or properly. But the really cool thing I like about it is if I close this door, I can't open this anymore. I made it so that it catches on that little nub, so that seals off completely, and over here, is more storage. I haven't screwed in the hinges yet, but this is more for when you're cooking. So you access it from over here, and you can get into that storage there. And what I really want to do, I don't know if I'll have time or resources, is what are they called? Lazy Susie's, Lazy Sandy's? But a miniature one in there that I can just spin around. I think it'd be cool. And let's see what else. Ooh, that just came off because I haven't screwed it in yet. I still haven't done the countertop up here. Still haven't ordered Solo. I should do that soon solar and big old mess here i've been trying to register this van for so long so i bought insurance on it and i had the safety and emissions done but the problem is i work pretty much all week long at least and dmv is only open during the week and i bought this van 40 to 50 days ago and i think i have to register within like 60 days I'm a little bit concerned. Hopefully I can get it registered next weekend. But, let's continue. Let me set up this countertop real quick and I'll show you how the countertop is going to work. It's not done yet. So this is the countertop. It's actually bamboo hardwood flooring that I got at this used place. They had some leftovers for really, really cheap. I paid like $10 for it and it's only like $6 a square foot. But of course I'll cut off the angle and stuff. And the sink I'm really excited about. I bought this stainless steel bowl, really cheap, just a mixing bowl. But I'm going to cut out a circle and just inlay that so it's completely flush with the countertop. Nice stainless steel. And then for the water, I'm going to have a system. Water surge is going to be up here. I have a t big 10 liter camelback. And either with, probably with a water hose coming along here, dropping down here, and I'll put copper piping around just so it looks a bit more classy. But just a gravity fed system into the bowl, and that'll be for my dishes and stuff. And for the stove, the stove's gonna pull out here, and I haven't figured out exactly everything I wanna do with that, cause I don't, I don't, I can't really put a vent there. So of course I'll have the windows open when I'm cooking and stuff, and I'll take proper safety precautions for the propane but I'm worried I'm gonna damage some of the some of this stuff it's just like uh, just cloth but I'm guessing I'm gonna damage it a bit which I'm not too worried about because then I'll just replace it with tin foil stuff so then I'll just see how it goes for now and what else is new um I bought a memory foam topper for really really cheap I was surprised how expensive foam was to buy just straight foam so I ended up buying this once open but never used memory foam topper and I'll combine that with some other foam that I have, this camping foam. 
and I got all the fabric for the upholstery. Let me go grab that real quick. So this is the fabric for the upholstery I'm gonna do. Just durable, I think it'll kind of match like the curtains and stuff, not too worried. And how's gonna be, I'm gonna cut the memory foam up into two separate things. Let me get all these tools out of the way. And I'll have it so there's two long, about it's, it's a six and a half foot bed, but two sections, boom, and one over here. Normally when you're sitting, and it's fairly comfortable, I set it around with other ones, and then when I open up the bed, it's gonna fold down so the whole thing is just one big bed, and it should be good. And what's really cool is um, I, left, I left these two seat belts in, and I repurposed the seat belt receivers so they fit well. So I can still use these seat belts back here. Of course, it won't be as safe as the original seats, but it's still, if someone wants to hop in for a ride, they can still do it kind of legally. Not too sure, but I'm not too worried either. <laughs> but I get that. That's gonna be really nice, being able to actually drive more than two people in this vehicle. And that's about it, I believe. I would keep working, but my batteries are dead. So I gotta go charge them, and I'm off to work tomorrow morning at like 7 a.m. Well, that's when I start work, so I'll wake up at like 4, 5. And I'll be gone for like between 4 and 18 days, and I'll be back for two days. So I'll be able to get a fair amount of work done in those two days back. Not sure when I'll be, though. But yeah, still got work to do. Stain everything, still gotta paint the trim. But it's coming, coming together well. I'm pretty excited. Girlfriend's been helping. She hasn't gotten too frustrated, which is good. It's a pain, like all the drawers, like miniature little screws that are impossible to screw in there. You strip all the screws. But yep, I gotta get going. But yeah, I hope you guys like how it's coming along because I really like how it's coming. I'll, uh, I've been filming the whole thing and I'll post a video building the whole the whole building process and as well as like a full tour when I'm done. But for now, I thought I'd give you an update and tell you how everything's going because it's going well.